rubies and sapphires and and just these amazing elements. And there's the 144,000 that's referred to in Revelation that the decoding I did on that is referring to those that have all of their chakras fully activated. Mom, everyone, if you're new to my station, I am the Hebrew widow, the Hebrew Rose of Jericho, coming at you with some judgment news. To all of my sisters and my bro stars, allies, and friends of the Star Seed United, I send you infinite love and light, and I receive yours, Abracadabra. This is Rex Bear from The Leak Project. Now, I learned a lot of things from Rex Bear before I had awakened. I learned that there was uh, ancient texts, the Sumerian tablets that matched up with Genesis. You know, I learned a lot of different esoteric things. You know, he studies like things like the crop circles and, and uh, alien technology that kind of stuff he he's really up on it and then he's up on the current events too so i used to follow him yeah and um uh, rex bear here he did a hell of a job because he's very thorough if he's if he's looking into something he's gonna find every little detail so now he's talking about april 8th that's what he's that's what he started talking about. It was April 8th. They know and feel in their bones something is going to happen. And they're trying to figure it out. Yeah. So some of these people, they're not the violent, wicked ones. They just are in, indifferent to who we are. They want to be included in everything. And so here goes Rex Bear. Yeah, he's trying to share secrets of how you could be included in the 144,000 but you know he hasn't a clue because they cannot decode, decode our scriptures they just can't do it they do not have the gift to spell out what these scriptures mean and then when it doesn't fit them then they change it or they ignore it and that is what he's doing here because he's talking about the 144,000. Now he has mentioned uh, talking with Paul Begley or having him on his show. I know y'all know who Paul Begley is. <laughs> At least those of us that knew something was coming we hadn't awakened yet. And because Paul Begley he dealt with end time signs. I followed him until I woke up. Yeah. And then I, I, I stopped going to his channel because they had found some artifact or uh, art or something or text that spelled out the appearance of, the appearance of Yahushai or Yahusha. And, and it said that the article said that his skin was brown. And his hair was woolly. And I get, got in the comment section and I said, Jesus is black because I just found out about myself being a Hebrew Israelite. <laughs> I said, Jesus is black, honey. And those white folks in his collective came after me. Yes, he didn't say anything personally. He did not remove my comment. But honey, those white people, of course, let me let me just say what their comments was. It was typical. The first one is color doesn't matter. <laughs> That's the number one. Number two is oh, you being racist. That's number two. And then number three is, well, he wasn't white with uh, uh, blonde hair and blue eyes. He looked more Arab. He could be everything but what they said he looked like. And I mean, those people came after me talking about I was race baiting and everything else just because I said, the only words I said was, Jesus is black. 
I told y'all it's a virus. So we know it's all in those Christian church. We know what y'all did after church services back in the day. We know exactly what you did. You don't want to own up to your history. Well, it's going to come up in judgment. Yeah, maybe even in judgment news. I think it already has several times. But they want to include themselves. Clearly. It's, it's, see, it's not only that the synagogue of Satan stole our identity, whitewashed every character in the Bible, including our father. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we got Adam and Eve is black. Wait, let me talk about the movies that I've seen. Now this is a King David movie starring Richard Gere as King David, y'all. And they got him flopping around. Look at him. He does not have not one molecule of soul. You know, he just don't, you get tell right away that he does not have he don't have any of our DNA just from the way that he's dancing there and to further mock our ancestor our ancestor King David they got him in a diaper y'all and then they have him in a diaper look at the Queen of Sheba did y'all see the Queen of Sheba I mean the synagogue of Satan that now that's in Revelation y'all Paul and Rex. It's in Revelation 2, 9 and 3, 9. The Most High identifies these people. And he says, he knows who they are. And they say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. And are the synagogue of Satan. That's what your Bible say. And the Most High doubled down on it. But y'all don't want to believe it. Because they made you believe. That the Hebrew Israelites. And that Jesus is white and y'all embrace that because he looked like y'all and their image they whitewashed Jesus Paul uh, Matthew Mark Luke and John everybody Elijah Elisha Moses Noah I mean well Noah I think he was uh, he was a uh, uh, albino but he was still, he had our DNA. Yeah, y'all white, well, I watched all the way back to Melchizedek. Honey, Methuselah, Adam and Eve. Y'all just whitewashed Seth and everybody. Everybody in the Bible. They whitewashed everybody in the movies to give you an a, a, a image. And you had that portal. In your house called a TV or a movie and they tricked you that is the Antichrist white Jesus and the system of white Jesus is the Antichrist it was created by the synagogue of Satan to trick you because if they can get you to believe that all of the characters in the Bible including Jesus is white yeah then Jews have to be white that was the big trick that was the big trick. Y'all got bamboozled. And if you don't repent, you're going to pay. You're going to pay if you don't bow down to the Hebrew Israelites because we are Adam. We came from Adam. Adam is black. Jesus said he was the first Adam. He's the second Adam. And he's going to come back as the third Adam, as the Messiah. And we're going to recapture this dimension where this is the only place in the universe that where absolutely everyone despise us. Red, yellow, black, and white just despise us. Yeah. Because Satan, Satan himself didn't want to bow down to Black Adam. <laughs> Above all things, he wanted to keep everybody else from bowing down to us. And he has played all kind of tricks on all of us. We were all deceived. Yeah, he could fool the very elect if it were possible. Yeah, that's why I'm not tricked. That's why I understand all of his magic that he's pulling off on the world. Yeah, but his magic, his magic is being destroyed by the truth. Oh my goodness. They tried to bury our history. Just That's why Ron DeSantis is gold. 
was to erase our history, rewrite our history. Yeah, because they already did that before. Hashitan used that trick before. Y'all, they know how important truth and history is. Yeah, it destroys a lie. It destroys Hashitan's illusion. Yeah, and, and his magic is losing in energy. Yeah, people feel it in their bones that on April 8th, something major is going to happen. Judgment Day, the rapture, whatever. They know something's going to happen. Commercial break. My bro stars and my sis stars out there, the Star Seed United allies and friends. Uh, please be patient with me. This is another Jonah message. I must preach to Nineveh. Just like in the days of old, when Nineveh got a warning before destruction, they are too, because they unleashed all kind of violence and wickedness upon us. Did genocide after genocide after genocide stole our land, took everything from us, and don't even think we deserve reparation, they gonna pay. You lynched, you murdered, you kidnapped, you enslaved. For Satan comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And now Yahweh Shai, who you call Jesus, is coming to give his brothers and his sisters and everyone that bows down to him and pledge their allegiance to his kingdom. He came to give them life, and that more abundantly. Let's go to the comment section. That I, I, I talked about those comments when I said on Paul Begley's uh, channel that Jesus is black. How many times have we seen comments that say color doesn't matter when we bring up that Jesus, who we call Yahweh Shai, the son, the Messiah, is black. They say color doesn't matter. Well, hell yes, it does. And you could tell that to the ones that whitewashed our history. Tell it to your forefathers. Color matters to the Most High God of Israel. His image matters. That's why he created us in his image. His son is in his image. And you were tricked. And let me tell you, the father is angry that y'all made him white. The Messiah is angry that he got whitewashed and every other one of our ancestors is angry about that. So you can embrace the trick if you want to and say color doesn't matter when it, it really, really does. It really does. The 144,000 are all black. They come from the 12 tribes of Israel. The Hebrew Israelites, 12,000 from each tribe. And you mean to tell me he's going to try to include all, everybody in the number as long as you activate all your chakras? They can't even be activated unless you're connected. They can't even be activated all the way up to your crown chakra unless you're con connected to the kingdom of love and light. And that is not for you. However, the Most High is giving you a warning before he just come and annihilate everybody, giving them a chance to repent for all of their wickedness towards his children. Yeah, but you're not included in the 144,000. You have not been promised the gathering, which I'll call the rapture. Yeah, that, that you say include everybody too. Not going to happen. However, you might be spared from the judgments to come if you repent. I break the curse and the conjuring of racism. All of that energy that went against us starseed children of the Most High God of Israel and Mother, may it all be gathered together and be removed from us and go right back at the races. Abracadabra, starseed united, you know what to do. It was a conjuring, a mental conjuring. Yeah, racism was a trick.
The ideology of race was a conjuring. And then they made y'all feel y'all poor white trash that came over here to the United States, made you feel like you were superior to us. And then unleashed your wicked, evil, violent asses on us. And even today, it's in the bloodline. Star Siege United, did you, did you guys hear about those students and their slave auction? See, they it's in their bloodline. They're taught racism. They don't have a chance. Those kind of people, they don't have a chance. Yeah, they just might as well just get ready to burn. Because our Messiah is going to recapture this dimension. And we're helping to bring it forth. That's why these messages have to be preached to these people because they're going to be judged for what they did to Starseed, the Most High's children, the Hebrew Israelites. The second comment that I want to address is when I said that, you know, they come back with, well, he, he wasn't white with uh, blonde hair, blue eyes. He looked more Arab more from the like Middle Eastern he could look like everything but a black man but us and he looks like us he is very dark with woolly hair yeah and we come from the same tribe here in the United States Judah that's why they call themselves Jewish they tried to steal our rulership that's what this whole war is all about. We are at war. It's a holy war. This is the ultimate holy war. And we are winning because the truth is destroying all of the lies. And either people bow down to our big brother, the first Adam, the second Adam, and the third Adam to come, the Messiah. If you don't bow down to him, you will be made to bow down to him and made to bow down to the Hebrew Israelites. Yeah, the Most High in Revelation 3, 9 included that. He said that the whole world was going to know that he loves us and that he was going to make them bow down to us. Yeah, so that's that was the Jonah message. He's telling, he's, he was a Hebrew Israelite. They were abusing us then in Nineveh. And the Most High gave them a solar eclipse to warn them, if you don't stop your violence and, and abuse against my children... Yeah, I'm going to let you be invaded and you're going to be taken over and you will be destroyed. And that is the same message. Now, the Most High in His mercy, in the Most High's mercy of giving a warning before destruction, He put all kind of messages in the solar eclipses warning Nineveh. <laughs> I don't apologize for my eubonics. Yeah. Yeah. The Most High wants everyone to know who this message is coming from. An old black lady. A Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah. So that you would know exactly what he is saying. You did the same thing over here in the United States of America as Nineveh was doing over there in Nineveh. You were violently cruel to the Hebrew Israelites. And some of you were just indifferent. Most High gave a sign then, and he's giving a sign now. Yeah, you better turn from your wicked racist ways. Uh-huh. Are you not going to survive the judgments that are coming upon this earth? Ladies and gentlemen, people of Russia, I see. Today, we stand on the precipice of a monumental revelation, a moment that redefines not only our understanding of history, but also the path forward for our great nation. In an extraordinary discovery hidden beneath centuries of lore and legend, we have opened what can only be described as the oldest vault known to mankind. What we found within its ancient confines challenges the very fabric of our beliefs and heralds a new dawn for our country. Within this vault, we discovered figures of biblical proportions, characters that many have read about, debated and revered. These figures, preserved against the sands of time, reveal a truth that is as profound as it is transformative. They are all black. This revelation, this undeniable truth, stands before us not as a contradiction to our faith, but as a testament to the diversity and unity 
that faith embodies. As your president, I see this moment not as a challenge to our beliefs, but as an opportunity to embrace a wider, more inclusive understanding. More inclusive understanding that black Jesus is the king and God of this earth. And you better hope that you will be included with the survivors. Those that held us captive will go into captivity, which means you will serve under our reign. It's not talking about intersectionality and you just joining in and we're going to be all inclusive. No, that's not what it's all about. And it's certainly not about integration. More inclusive understanding of our history and spirituality. Russia, in its rich tapestry of cultures, traditions, and peoples, is uniquely positioned to lead the world into this new era of understanding and acceptance. From this day forward, let us proclaim our nation under the guidance of Black Jesus, a figure who represents not just the cornerstone of Christian faith, but also a symbol of the universal values of love, compassion, and brotherhood. This Black Jesus, whose likeness and history have been unveiled from the oldest vault, is a message to us all that divinity knows no color. Now, this is where I beg to differ. <clears throat> This is not the whole truth, okay? Now, he's willing to bow down to black Jesus, but he says divinity knows no color. When he's just showing you black Jesus, see, divinity does have to do with color because our father is black. His children are black. He created us in his image that is black, so color is important to divinity. Spiritual truth transcends race, and that our common humanity binds us more tightly than our differences divide us. Let this discovery remind us that history is not just the story of those who wield power, but also of those whose contributions have been overlooked or forgotten overlooked and forgotten to say the least to say the least everybody thinking that Jesus was white and the Hebrew Israelites was white hiding and burying and changing our history you think you can get everything 100% correct yeah but he's telling people right here let us let's let's have an open mind with our compassionate hearts. Those are the only people that are going to escape judgment. You're not going to be in the gathering. It wasn't promised to you. They made up the rapture to trick you too, into manipulating you and blackmailing you. You know you are always afraid that you're going to get left behind. Yeah, well, you are going to be left behind. But see what President Putin is doing is he's he's. He's going into the spirit and trying to save his country by saying, we going to serve black Jesus. We are going to be under his rulership. This is what you call an ally and friend. And we're going to see Russia is going to be, you know, they're going to be uh, spared in these judgments. If the whole nation go with Putin and worship and serve and bow down to black Adam, which is Jesus, which is the Messiah that's coming. That's the only way. And people without compassion or with a closed mind, they're just going to burn. It challenges us to re-examine what we know, to question our assumptions, and to open our hearts to the broader possibilities of understanding and faith. As we embark on this journey of discovery and understanding, let us do so with open minds and compassion. Now, I spotted President Putin uh, last year because he assisted the junta to recapture our land and give it back to the people and to remove the wicked out of the, the power seat, France, and their puppets. And give the wealth back to the people. 
And President Putin, he helped by sending the Wagner Group to go assist them with capturing and eliminating those two-thirds and others that they send, the worst of the, the worst violent people. That's who they always unleash upon us to put us in a spirit of fear. And President Putin sent the Wagner Group over there to help them, and they successfully uh, commenced their coup d'etat. Yeah, and they removed the puppet, and they did it over several countries in Africa. Yeah, so, and not only that, he forgave the debt of these countries, and he sent grain. Let's build a nation that truly reflects the teachings of the black Jesus. A nation that stands for justice, equality, and love for all, regardless of race or creed. So knowing who Ibrahim Abra- Triori is, he looks just like our Messiah Megalith, by the way. And I know our Messiah is somewhere on this earth. I don't know if it's Ibrahim Triori, but I know our Messiah looks just like him. Yes, and that is a mighty leader. He's leading off the Junta in all of those countries. Yeah, so this is a Star Seed United. That's what I'm saying. Now, all of the nations all over the earth, it's only going to be a small percentage of them left by the time the Most High clear out all the racist, low vibers, the synagogue of Satan. You know, by the time he cleanses all of them off, it's going to be a small population of people of other nations. We are going to have to rule somebody. Yeah, everybody's not just going to be wiped off the map. And yes, every every nation did something to us. They participated somewhere back in history to go against us. That's for sure. That's for sure. But there is some people that have a level level of empathy, like I told you, that the Most High blessed. You know, Napoleon, he went and knocked off all the noses so we couldn't be identified. We see here in Russia, this is the oldest vault. The oldest vault is what was opened, and they had to hide out our history in it because they went after our history. Yeah, and they thought that they were going to do it again through Prager University, but that's got stopped. That's gotten stopped, yeah. If people want to still believe in that, they only have a short time left, and they will go into judgment. They will go into judgment. Yeah, and, and you might say, well, what about black people? They're not going to be judged. Yeah, two-thirds of us are going to be judged, too. You know, we have a lot of people that sold out our people as well and removed us from our culture, and they're going to pay, too. Yeah, this judgment day is coming in April 8th, the Most High, in all of his mercy. He put obvious signs so that everybody could understand who and what is it is about. Yeah, it's about the Hebrew Israelites. That's why all the Salem's are there. And it's about Nineveh. And Nineveh is about the message coming from Jonah. And Jonah was giving them a message about abusing his people, which were the Hebrew Israelites. And so the United States of America, the White House, if they do not repent, you know, this nation is going to be destroyed. It's going to be destroyed. We're going to be up out of here. If it's going to get judged like I think, we'll be out of here before it happens. Yeah, and then they will get invaded, and they will be taken over, and they will lose. Yeah, that is what's going to happen in these judgments, and it's unstoppable. It's nothing that can stop it. So, now Nineveh got their warning. It's loud and clear. And, hey, if they don't heed the warning... Well, they'll just be judged. Yeah, it's all about resonation. It's all about resonation. And so if it's low vibers out there, or racists out there listening to this message, of course they're not going to resonate with it. You know, they're in the background calling me all kind of names. Do I care? No. Do I care if they resonate? No. Yeah, just like Jonah, I didn't want to preach about the ways that you could be saved from judgment because of what you did to my people. Yeah. So, April 8th is coming with its obvious signs. It's all about the Hebrew Israelites. Yep, 
that's who it's about. So that is the message that I have for you today. And it was my pleasure and an honor to speak on behalf of Starseed, the children of the Most High God of Israel, the sisters and the bro stars of the Messiah that's soon coming, our King, the King and God of this earth. Hallelujah. If you're new to my station and you resonate with this message, feel free to subscribe. Not everybody resonate with it. Yeah. Oh, and Star Seed United. I have one more thing. Now, YouTube has been playing games with my channel. They cut off our live chat on the li last live chat that I had. And then the last video, not the one that I did explaining uh, Uriel the Archangel over there. But the one before that, they posted it like a regular uh, posted video when I clearly set it to be premiered at 7.30 at night. They might have changed the time on it. I don't know. They just playing games. Yeah, and my little numbers went down real low. So I know that they're shadow banning the message. But before it comes, before I post it, as these words are coming out of my mouth, abracadabra. The Most High has already heard it and he has been given answers and he's going to answer YouTube for that and all whoever's involved. Abracadabra. Yep, and to you spies out there, are you, you heard, you heard all of these messages and you see the results of when we go to the courts of the Most High. You have seen what happened time and time again. And if you want to save your posterity, if you want to save your children from these judgments, or your aunties and uncles and parents and, and your friends, you better pass the message. It's all about the Hebrew Israelites. The Messiah is black, black and he is coming back to set things straight with great justice in these judgments to come. If you reject this message and try to hide it, so be it. So be it. I didn't want to preach it anyway. Yeah, but so be it. Yeah. So that's what I have for you today. Um, Star Seed United. May you have the best day of your life. May goodness and mercy follow you all the days of your life. Yeah, so that you could dwell in the house of Yahweh forever. Abracadabra. Okay, you guys, I love you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share all of this good news. Doesn't it feel good to fight back? Star Seed United forever. Star Seed for life. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for your kind support of this station. Yes, all your gifts of love. May the Most High bless you 100-fold for whatever your heart desire. Abracadabra. Okay, until the next Judgment News, your big sister the Hebrew widow, the Hebrew rose, Jericho out. Shalom.